Hi again everybody, this is the Irish Scrapper back with um, a new tutorial. Today I'm going to show how I made this card here, it's a, a graduation card and it's um, fairly straightforward and easy to make and looks very well I think you'll agree. So um, to start off you'll need a card base and this card base measures five and a half by four and a quarter. Um, so that would be 11 11 inches by four and a quarter and fold it in half when you scored it. Then the second layer is the white layer and this white layer I've cut at five and a quarter by four inches. So we'll go ahead and we'll mat this layer onto the card blank. Make sure you get to the edge of your card with the adhesive so it sticks properly. And line it up. Stick it in. Now the next piece is a black piece and this black piece measures five inches by four and three quarter inches. And I've used textured cardstock for this because this is meant to be the actual tuxedo. And again, I'm just going to adhere that down. because sometimes the adhesive can tend to get onto the card. Now that'll dry back fine. Um, so the next layer now is the white layer and this white layer I have cut at three and three quarters by three and the next layer is a black layer which I've cut at two and a half by three and a half and then the final white layer is one and a half by three and then for the little cap I've cut one and three quarters by one and three quarters and then the the smaller black piece I've cut at one and a half by one and a half. So let me move this out of the way for now and I'm going to start working on the white piece. So what you need to do is to find the centre of your, um, just let me get a, a pen here. Find the center of your white piece. I'm just lining it up with the grid line here. And it's it's about here. And then you take that to your paper trimmer and you can rule it if you want to, but I'm just going to eyeball it. So I take the point of my card here and line it up with my marking here. Just cut that piece away and then do the same on the other side. Find your corner and line it up with the other point here. And cut. So this piece now I'm going to tear down. to the next black piece and it's the same process again you find the center of your piece of card now you can be very exact if you want to but I'm just eyeballing it so it's here and once again line up the corner of your paper here with your mark the same with the other one. 
corner and we'll go ahead and adhere that so you can see it's quick and easy to make once you have your pieces of paper cut out And then the last piece. Cut that. Turn it over and do it the other side. This one is a little bit more difficult insofar as it's much smaller. There we have it. Now on this piece we're going to put um, three little brads for buttons. So I just take my little pokey tool and make a tiny hole, stick the brad through it. Now I didn't have black brads as you can see they were orange but I just blackened them with my sharpie marker and no one will be any the wiser. Now I'm kind of rushing this for the tutorial but you can take your time and make it a more precise um, go at it. And then again adhesive. And down onto the card. what I did with the other one now that I think of it, it was I put the brads through the three pieces so I would have done it I would have um, adhered the three pieces together and then put the brads through them now so we'll set that aside a minute and we'll go about making the hat the little hat is quite simple you just adhere the black one onto the white one like that and then we have to make the little tassel the tassel is easy made I'm just taking a baker's string here and if you get a little bit of card you simply make the tassel by winding it around the card a few times depending on how, how thick you want your tassel you just go round and round until you think you have enough and I think that's plenty just get my scissors snip that off there and then I need a piece for tying it off which is a six inch piece you simply slip your piece underneath Bring it up to the top and tie a knot. Like that. Keep those two pieces separate. And then come down here and snip off 
the other pieces like that. So that gives you that. Now we want to tidy it up. So what I do is take another piece of your string and I simply bring it down a tad from where the knot is and wind it around just a few times like that and then tie it off. Now if there's any questions about that just don't hesitate to send me a comment and I can do it slow, slowly for you. So just tie it in a double knot. And cut, cut off the, the ends of it to neaten it as near to the knot as you can. Now that's a bit long I think so I'm simply going to shorten it about there. And then what you do is you poke a hole in the middle. I'm just going to use this and eyeball that as well. Put a hole in the middle and then simply thread your pieces through. And then you pull it and you leave a little bit of length like that and take your last brad and push that through. open it at the back and then what I do is I take a piece of foam adhesive like that and put it over the brad and the piece of string and cut off the string and adhere that then to your card. And all that's left to do then is the, the sentiment. And I'm just using the congrats. And I'm going to stamp that onto a piece of white cardstock. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And then just finish it by cutting a little V. That. And that's a little bit long. Adhere it there. I might move that hat over a little bit. And adhere that down with a little bit of double sided foam. Like that. So it's a quick and easy now, obviously that needs to be blackened a bit more, which I'll do with the Sharpie pen. So a quick and easy and an effective uh, graduation card. Now I have done another one which I'll come back and do another tutorial on which looks like this and I think that's quite cute too. I have to adhere the little scroll into place there. So have a go and see what you think. The Irish scrapper saying I'll get back to you soon with a further tutorial.